What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Shout out to all those beginner investors and traders out there. Y'all already know who it is. But if you don't, I'm pretty sure if you go through the content, you'll find out. I wanted to show y'all what's going on because this is exactly what I said earlier today and yesterday. This will move like game stop. I know you guys love technicals. I know you love data, but there's really no more data in technicals that a person could give you to let you know that this has been manipulated. And the only thing that you can do is sit and wait this out until AMC and GameStop, and GameStop squeezes. OK, uh, personally, I'm over here rethinking some things with the GameStop, and I'm going to try to deepen my position. Uh, we have two minutes left. If you go back to this video that I happened to do yesterday, you will clearly see if you go into this video that I said GameStop, well, AMC could potentially move 20 to 30 percent, I said. I think I said 30 percent. I think we're already up almost 15, 20 percent, if I'm not mistaken. This video right here says AMC will push like GameStop. The charts don't lie. Uh, you can go look at the AMC, the lie behind the squeeze as well. Uh, and for all those GameStop viewers, uh, please don't forget I've been in this for a while now. You know, uh, I've been involved in GameStop for almost two years at this point. Um, I decided to do a page, a YouTube page. This is GameStop started my YouTube page, you know, because of what I felt like I was seeing as far as the console cycles taking uh, taking place again with uh, the PS5, Xbox. Uh, the games that were coming out, Cyberpunk, you know, uh, Predator Hunting Grounds, DBZ Kakarot. It was just so many games coming out and people were given the opportunity to game again during the pandemic when people were sitting down. You know, uh, I even have a video saying that, you know, right here, GameStop stock 100 plus, And that was my prediction eight months ago, based on, you know, everything that I could foresee with gaming, you know, and if you aren't still in GameStop, which I'm pretty sure you are, I'm, forgive me for disrespecting you saying that, you know, um, GameStop is going to be huge, man. It's going to be a lot bigger than what we think. And I'm actually kicking myself for selling as many shares as I did. Being, you know, new to uh trading at that time uh and just being used to holding stocks for years i made a huge mistake just trying to profit i knew that GameStop was going to go up but i didn't know that that was going to happen which made me uh i was researching uh, sque uh squeezes before that but I never happened to be a part of one, so I didn't know if it was real or fake. So I didn't want to get caught up in, you know, uh, the stock rising and then falling. So I had an exit strategy, which was how I was taught based on psychology and the stock market, dealing with the stock market. OK, so, you know, uh, as we go back here, you know, the market is closed now and we should see either a spike up after seeing uh, AMC and GameStop move the way it did after a uh, four o'clock market close uh, Eastern time, it literally just started moving. And the last time, like I said, I've seen this was with GameStop when GameStop happened to drop in, I believe, February or March. And it was, I think it was February. Sometime in February, it dropped the 38 bucks. Uh, and then it shot back up to about 300 bucks, 300 and something bucks, uh, no more than a week later. It did. I don't even think it was about five days, man. So, you know, I'm expecting to see some type of movement from AMC 
uh, probably uh, four in the morning, five in the morning. And then we'll start to see as, uh, you know, uh, pre-market opens, we'll start to see some movement. I mean, we're looking real good on the um, five-minute chart. I mean, it's looking like it's looking bullish. I mean, from everything that I've learned, it it looks bullish. The ten minute chart, uh, and then when you go to the four hour chart, that's where you know we get, you know, that real uh, view of how we're looking. Uh, so, I, I mean, you know, the daily, you know, we're starting off today. You know, uh, hopefully we can uh, finish out the rest of uh, uh, tomorrow like, and then go into the next week uh, with a strong with some strong movement. I think we could push 40, 40 something bucks tomorrow. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we go up to 30 percent that I said, but um, I'm not into, you know, predicting to be exact. Uh, I just like, you know, try to you know, say round figures, you know, um, but, um, yeah, man, uh, this is just, uh, my beginner's, uh, lens. So, and remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not an investing guru, you know, please, man, have your own due diligence, man, and go do some homework. I'm still learning. I have to get back into the books. I have to get a financial advisor. You see what I'm saying? Like, uh, I've done all this, on my own. Um, and I've done a good job in my opinion, but I think I can go a lot further if I learn a lot more from someone that has the skills to, you know, teach someone how to read the market from their perspective. You know, uh, there's so many different ways that I've learned to, uh, strategize when you are looking at the market and when you're trading, when you're investing. So, um, you know, I feel like anything can help, you know, uh, anybody that has some skill and some savvy, I feel like it can enhance my ability. So, you know, please, man, do your own homework. Uh, I'm excited about uh, GameStop <laughs> once I got back into doing some homework um and I'm also excited about what's going to take place because if this really does happen to squeeze AMC as well as uh, GameStop, because, you know, like I said, if you look at the charts, they're moving on most identical, you know, uh, as you can see, GameStop is, well, hold on there. Let me see what they doing. One minute. Okay. Yeah, they try to what they what they okay. You gotta zoom it out a little bit, but zoom in. But the, as you can see, we have almost similar movement. Now GameStop is you know a little bit more choppy, but because of the lower volume, I mean, in my opinion, uh, now AMC we know <laughs> is not a hundred and however how oh how much was how much volume was it today? Uh, what? A hundred, almost two hundred million volume, and you know, with all the people that's held up to seventy seven bucks, and as it dropped back down, and as it went to thirty one bucks, and you know, as you can see, nobody's selling because we still own the float, uh, and they uh still haven't covered. I mean, which is obvious because we'll see a a a, a Increase in the, sp uh, the, the the share price. The share price will spike. That, I mean, you won't miss that. And as many people that are paying attention to this every day, which, you know, uh, that's another reason why it's probably taking so long because they know that people are watching this like a hawk. You know, um, that's, you, it, you, you'll see it. You, I mean, I'm not saying, I, I mean, believe me, when, when GameStop struck, I, 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 it was just hard to miss. You know, that was the first time I ever seen a potential squeeze. You know, it was halted. Uh, that might have been some type of mini squeeze, baby squeeze, you know, micro squeeze. But GameStop did not happen to squeeze the way that, you know, it was supposed to based on uh, 
how it was how it was being shorted, you know. Um, so uh, I don't want to keep rambling. Like I said, you guys uh, definitely have a lot of other YouTube content creators that you can go check out and get your information for d data or technicals. I advise you to uh, do your own due diligence, have your own due diligence, and uh, learn. You know, get some type of financial advisor, somebody that can help you. You know, on your journey. Um, and I appreciate everybody for tuning in. As you can see, we just had a little droppity drop. And I mean, I'm not really worried, man. Like I said, uh, I've seen this with GameStop. And, you know, one thing I was thinking, being as though I've only been doing this about three years as far as investing and a, a strong, almost about a year trading GameStop really prepared me for a lot. I mean, dude, with all the, you know, I wasn't super anxious or, you know, have a lot of, I didn't have a lot of anxiety, but I did have a lot of moments where I just didn't understand why the stock price was moving up and down, which made me uh, do a little bit more homework to understand that it was something taking place uh, with GameStop and other stocks that you know bought me the short uh short uh, and uh it bought me the uh borrowing shares and lending shares and you know uh how they have to buy them back and and j I, I just learned so much off of what happened to GameStop, you know, uh, and that's the reason why I'd say to a lot of beginner investors and traders or investors out there that may not have been involved in GameStop, go check out GameStop and some of the things that were taking place, you know, a little bit before, you know, go back and if you can get some information around like October, November, December, and I guarantee you, you can see how people were gearing up to try to understand what was taking place. There were a few people out there already talking about it. Keith Gill happened to be one of them. I tried to go back and find uh, one of the lives because I used to watch uh, his lives. And uh, I've sent him questions before and I've had my own, you know, uh, opinion about what was going to happen to GameStop, and uh, I've I've definitely sent him messages, and he's actually responded on live, you know, to my messages, you know, agreeing with some of the things that I said, and you know, to see him end up in front of Congress over what took place because they were trying to say that he was uh uh that we were a bit that he was basically uh. Oh my God, I can't, I got so much going on in my mind right now. I know exactly what the term is, but they were basically trying to say that he, you know, was giving us stock trades. Uh, and, you know, we were passing stock trades back and forth, and that's how GameStop ended up getting that high. And that's not what took place. You know what I'm saying? That guy, I mean, you know, I don't like a lot of people, you know, but one thing I can say about Deep and Value, Keith Gill, is that. He did not seem to have any manipulative bone in his body. You know, he seemed like a genuine individual just genuinely into a stock that he grew up on, you know, not on the stock, but grew up, you know, shopping in GameStop. He it sounded like he he loved the company. He loved GameStop. Uh, it sounds like he's still a gamer, in my opinion, which is one of the reasons why he was into it. And uh, that's what drew me to him. You know, he's just seemed genuine. And me and, and I grew up in GameStop when it was Electronic Boutique. I mean, where I'm from, it was Electronic Boutique. And then it went from me because we had Radio Shack and then that died. And then we had Electronic Boutique. Electronic Boutique went to GameStop. And um, that's why, you know, I've been a GameStop Rewards member since I can remember, you know, uh, I'm still I, I'm still a rewards member to this day. And me and, and knowing all that information on top of the console cycles, the Xbox coming out on top of India and there and uh, and enhance, you know, uh, and how they're enhancing their gaming uh uh, the, the, in the industry of gaming is enhancing, you know, there in China and China has way more. I mean, they have applications that will dwarf Twitch. You know what I'm saying? And so it's just like this is becoming 
a pheno like a phenomena and people don't know. I mean, and this is one of the reasons why I'm I'm definitely gonna hold AMC as well after seeing them kind of restructure where they are uh showing UFC fights. That's huge. I mean, if they decide to start showing other events besides movies, I mean, we can <laughs> AMC could push their stock over a hundred bucks a share. So what we're seeing right now is, you know, retail kind of restructuring investing trading you know uh and it's and it's crazy and we're helping restructure companies that you know would probably still be in some sort of you know ext not extreme debt but you know they'll still have you know a lot of debt gamestop is debt free Everything keeps going the way that it's going for AMC. They'll be debt free. They'll be able to use a lot of their money to re like the the to, to rebrand and 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 make it bigger and better. I mean, what is there's after thinking about the UFC thing, you know, instead of paying 50, 60, 70, 100 bucks pay-per-view and they're charging 25, 30 bucks where you can go in there with your family. I mean, that's not bad. I mean, especially if you can get some type of package deal where if it's five or 10 of y'all and, you know, so you don't have to pay $30 a person or 20, some type of package deal. I mean, because at the end of the day, you pay-per-view with a hundred bucks, you can invite as many people as you want, you know, but some of these big fights, you like to go out, you like to watch them out and be, you know, a part of you know, have some camaraderie, be around people. And, you know, it, 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 the, a lot of these super fights are sold out, you know, when you go out, especially if you live in a place like New York or California or Miami or Atlanta, you know, these places be sold out. So, you know, if AMC movie theaters start to show <laughs> big premiere, you know, super fights and stuff like that, it's just it's it's no telling you know where this can go i mean they can show all types of events so you know let me stop rambling but right now i'm not going front after doing some re <laughs> after combing over some things and you know looking into the tech sector and how that is going to enhance gamestop and amc it's making me rethink my positions with GameStop and AMC. Now, I'm not going to dodge and dip and jump out of, you know, all of my other positions. But I'm definitely thinking about dropping, you know, a lot of stocks. Well, or, 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 or dropping certain positions to go back deeper into GameStop. That's just me. That's just me. Remember, I'm not a finance advisor. I'm not an investment guru. I'm sorry for wasting your time with all this rambling I be doing. You know, I just love talking about this stuff and learning. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you get an opportunity. Please, man, do you some more homework on AMC and GME. Uh, I'm still in the SOS. I'm still learning about crypto. I'm getting deeper into Cardano. I'm dip, getting deeper into Algorand. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to buy little bits and pieces of Bitcoin and, and more Ethereum. You know what I mean? I'm just... Over here, I'm just excited about what is to come based on the information and, 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 and teachings that I've come across and how, you know, I've gotten educated on some things about the blockchain and all of these other things. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting into Dan, uh, more in the chain link and more in the band protocol. I'm just, you know, trying my best to learn about some of the best, you know, uh, Digital assets, because uh, all of them are cryptocurrencies. You know, this, uh, you know some of these things that I'm talking, some of these uh, uh, assets that I'm talking about, uh, they're, they're digital assets. Like, you know, that's what they'll be, digital assets. Um, and, you know, I'm trying to learn about the best ones, the ones that will be used you know, by everybody, you know, or most people, you know, or, you know, mainly most people, you know, so it's just, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. You know, I keep my cryptocurrency with probably like six to seven, you know, or four, maybe like three or four of the main, my main ones. 
you know, and um, I'm just trying to keep learning, man. So remember, man, do your homework, have your own due diligence. It's the block market, it's hood money investing. Still, your boy, Kavai Ray Valentine, I appreciate y'all for pulling up. This is not Wall Street. You know what I'm saying? Remember that. This is hood money investing, man. I'm out of here. They out there panicking right now. I can feel it. They out there. They're panicking. Look at them. Now, you're not naive enough to think we're living in a democracy, are you, buddy? It's the free market. And you're part of it. Something just came across my desk, John. It is perhaps the best thing I've seen in the last six months. If you have 60 seconds, I'd like to share the idea with you. You got a minute? After everything we've done for you. Oh, see, I made Lewis a bet here. See, Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put y'all in the poorhouse at the same time. He didn't think we could do it. I won. I lost. One dollar. Thank you, Lewis. After you. Certainly. <laughs>